So, you wanna work on a cruise ship, but you have no idea how to start the process to get a job. Well, you guys are in luck because you come to the right place. In today's episode of Ship Life, I'm going to give you everything you need to set sail and get your first job on a cruise ship. I'm giving you tips, I'm giving you advice, and I'm giving you all the website links you could ever need to get a job and start your first contract. So, let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Let's go! Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Jay Alexander, and welcome to another episode of Ship Life, where I try to inform, educate, and entertain you guys on the world that is ship life. So, I finally decided to make the ultimate episode for you guys. To be honest, I decided to make it because I have had it up to here with the amount of DMs, text, emails, comments that I received from people asking me the number one question that I have been asked since I created my channel, which is, how do I get a job on ships? Now, this is somewhat cut and dry. I mean, obviously, the answer that I would give everybody is just to look online, but the comments and everything just keep coming. So I decided to make one video where I can put all of my resources, all of my knowledge, everything that I know for the most part into one video where I can leave you guys advice, tips, links, everything you guys would need to hopefully start the process to getting your first contract on ships. Because honestly, after you get your first contract, it's pretty much cut and dry. You usually get another one as long as you don't mess up. Now, I'm not gonna talk too much on this. I'm gonna go ahead and get straight into it. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. All right, everybody, so to make this video as simple as possible, I'm going to break this entire video down into five very simple sections. I'm gonna do this because I think it'll be easier for everybody to kind of scroll and skip to whatever part that they find most useful. Now, before I get into the sections, guys, just if you're looking for websites or you know just uh, links in particular, they will be down in the description below as I will not be talking about exactly where to go for the most part throughout this video because there's so much more information that I wanna give. Now, throughout these five sections, breaking it down, I'm gonna start off with the overview just to give you guys a kind of generalization as to what you're getting into and what the job entails. After that, we're gonna go over to the types of jobs and the requirements to get to those jobs. After that, we're gonna to go to the application process and how long it takes. From there, we're gonna to go to the interview process. And then finally, last but not least, we are going to finish up with a conclusion, kind of like a wrap up, just points to remember in case you guys do plan on applying after you watch this video. Now, again, I'm not gonna to talk too much, guys. We're gonna go ahead and get straight into it. Let's go into the overview. So, in a nutshell, working on a cruise ship is an experience unlike any other. You get to travel the world, you get to meet new people from all over the world, you get to do a lot of things, which is why I think it's so attractive to so many people, right? There are opportunities that you can create. You can start a career, you can save some money, you can do a lot of things on the ship. Now, there are just things that you guys have to understand. There are always factors, all right? I know a lot of people do it because they want to travel, but depending on your position, you may not have that option uh, available. Well, not really so much of traveling, but more of, of seeing the things that you want to see because you have to understand if you want to work on a ship, most departments typically work a lot, okay? I'm not going to get too far into the detail. I have other videos that cover that. Make sure you guys just check out my other videos. They're in there somewhere as far as how many hours different departments work. Um, just to give you an idea, but anyway guys you get to travel you get to see so many cool things now The problem is deciding what cruise line you want to work for because there are dozens and dozens of Main large cruise lines alone, right? But hopefully I can give you guys some idea throughout this video to help you kind of weed out which cruise line might be best for you Depending on your lifestyle or you know what it is that you desire out of the cruise line but just like I said, guys, I'm giving you the overview. It's a cool experience, but there are always some stipulations and some a lot of you know details and moving parts when it comes to working on a cruise line. But anyway, guys, let's talk about the jobs that are available on ships. All right, so for the jobs portion of this video, since I know it is a very important portion for everybody, I'm gonna, again, simplify this by breaking this down into three separate sections, all right? So working on a ship, you have three sections that 
typically people work in just to kind of give a generalization of the departments that are available, all right? Starting off with deck and engine. After that, we have hotel. And then from there, we have concession. Now let's break each one of those down so I can tell you guys what positions are available, just to give you an example, and what the requirements are for those positions. All right, so deck and engine is probably pretty self-explanatory, I'm assuming. This is for anybody that wants to be an engineer, a cadet, an officer, maybe even the captain someday. Now, typically a lot of questions that I would get asked about these positions on ships is if you need schooling. Now, for this category in itself, yes, you do usually need some kind of schooling, whether it be a, a grad school, college, maritime school, typically, right? You need some kind of certification or something that says you're qualified to get into these higher end positions. Now, these are what I would call the more career driven positions. People that want to work on ships full time and probably until they retire. That's not something I would recommend for the typical person that wants to work on a ship because this is a lifelong journey for whoever wants to get into these positions. And I'm assuming the people that are watching this video for the most part have not wanted to do this since they were children. They probably want the other positions, but I'm just gonna give you guys the overview for that. All right, next up we have the concession department on the ship. Now, concession typically kind of ties in with hotel, but I'm gonna break this down because things are done a little bit differently when it comes to the concession section of cruise lines. Now, when I say concessions, typically I mean these are the uh, positions on the ship that are usually somewhat third party or go through an agency. So they're not like more so the deck and engine where you gotta go to schooling, but typically these are for the people that have to go through agencies and third party companies especially if they're from another country. Now these positions may include, but of course are not limited to uh, the spa workers, which would also be in the hotel department, obviously, which I'll tell you guys about in a minute. You get the spa workers, you have the photographers, you have gift shop, jewelry department. All of those positions are considered the concession side of the ship. Like I said, typically for those positions, there usually are some kind of prerequisites that you might need to get on the ship, right? Maybe some schooling, which honestly is typically not necessary, but more so the biggest thing that they want, which they also want in the hotel department too, but more so in this position, they want experience. They need somebody to have a, a decent amount of experience and whether it be that exact field, if you wanna be a, a jeweler on the ship, they want you to have some land experience as a jeweler, spa, vice versa. They want you to have some kind of certification, some kind of training, managing, um, just being able to provide good customer service. This is the things that they are looking for when they want to hire somebody in the concession sector of the ship. All right, so last but certainly not least, we have the hotel department. Now, typically for this department, this is more of what you would, I guess on land, consider like the entry level jobs where the cruise line hires from direct, all right? They hire directly. So if you're working for a Norwegian, for example, if you're working for a Royal Caribbean, Carnival, etc., you would typically go directly through that cruise line's uh, either audition, or website just to get to the uh, particular field that you're trying to work into. Now this includes but is not limited to the uh, bar staff, the waiters, customer service, entertainment for the most part, and along with that you also have again the spa. Now I'll say that twice because the spa was also in the concession category as well because they may hire direct in some cases but typically for the most part at least on the ship that I worked on they hired through a company known as Steiner which is a third-party company. Now of course these two are interchangeable as opposed to like the, uh, the deck and engine which doesn't you know deck and engine requires school the other ones they pretty much just want experience but for a lot of the positions that are available in the uh, hotel department, you can get a job there without really any experience at all. I know a lot of the people on my ship came fresh out of high school and they had no experience in their field. But most cruise lines, just like most jobs on land, they do kind of want you to have some experience in that field or at least be, you know, friendly, which I'll talk about again in the uh, interview process. But just keep that in mind, guys, the three different tiers that are available on the ship and you gotta decide in which area you want to work. Now, I'm just generalizing, giving you guys some examples, but there are tons and tons of different positions on the ship. 
All right, so let's jump into the application process and the amount of time it actually takes for you to get to the ship. Now, when applying for cruise lines, obviously you have tons of options as far as what cruise line you want to apply for, and there are a lot of ways that you can apply. You can send an email, you can go directly through the website, which they probably have some kind of source where you can send applications and resumes and all that. If you're entertainment, you got to go to an audition process or you can send a demo reel in. There are just so many ways to do it. Now, whether you, you know, want to go directly to an audition or you want to send a reel in or anything like that, or you want to go through another source, that's completely up to you. I would suggest finding the best way to get to it. But uh, typically, you have to have a simple rule of thumb. If you're entertainment, you're best to go through a personal audition process if you can make it to one of the auditions because typically cruise lines have auditions all over the world. You gotta find which, which one is closest to you, go there. If you are trying to apply to be somewhere in the spa, I would suggest you go get certified and with Steiner. Um, typically Steiner does work with a lot of the uh, cruise lines or there are a couple which I'll list below, a couple other uh, spa, spa places that you can go to to get certified and get experience. Um, but then you, your best bet is to probably go through that third party company and, as opposed to going through the uh, cruise line directory. Uh, also, you can, you know, just apply online. Like I said, that is a, a good way, a quick way if you want to just blast a ton of applications and get them done. But again, they probably receive hundreds of applications a week, if not thousands. So it takes time. And speaking of time, there is absolutely no set time to when, when you're going to work on a ship, right? I know everybody wants to know that and I get asked that question all the time. How long will it take for the cruise line to contact me? Does anybody know how long? There is absolutely, absolutely no set time, right? You can fill it out an application and next thing you know, you're on the ship in a week. And you can also already get an official contract offer and you won't get on the ship until three months from that initial offer. You just never ever know. So guys, just keep that in mind. There is no set time. You just honestly have to be patient. If it's more than like maybe, I wanna say a month or so, where you can contact it or maybe you have even been contacted, you can either email again or you can apply again. One of those two, if you really are desiring to work on a ship. But again, guys, just please keep that in mind. There is absolutely no set time for you to be contacted from a cruise line, right? There are companies that I worked for where I wasn't contacted for six months. Sometimes it was about a year. I was contacted initially for my first contract a year prior to me getting an official contract offer. So think about that. It just takes some time, right? So don't set all of your, your, your uh, eggs in one basket to work on one particular cruise line. Apply for as many as you can. All right, so you did it. You filled out your application, you waited patiently for a month or 10 years for somebody to finally contact you, and they do. And finally, they wanna do the dreaded interview. Don't freak out, guys, all right? I know a lot of people hate the idea of interviews, but trust me when I say it, it's a very, very simple thing to do, all right? I'm gonna give you one thing to help everybody out when it comes to the interview process. Think like a guest. Now, when I say that, I want you to think like a guest in the sense that I want you to think about what it is that you would want from a crew member if you, if, you know, if you were a guest experiencing a cruise ship, right? On a ship, the guests typically pay for the cruise line because they want to be kind of pampered, lazy. They want to be in this utopic society where everything is perfect and happy all the time. So you should apply that to your interview process, right? People want happy people around them. So if, if you're in a department where you're typically face-to-face -face like customer service, um, entertainment, anything like that, obviously the interviewer is going to want somebody that has a lot of energy, that's very upbeat, has a cool personality, and just sounds like an overall fun and easy person to work with. Because on the ship, it's a lot more difficult to fire somebody to get them home, and it's very expensive. So cruise lines aren't so quick to try to hire somebody just right off the bat just because they need a body. All right, they're going to do some kind of interview process. Now, the extent at which the interview process takes place depends on the department and you know whether the, the need for that person is immediate or you know they're just kind of checking you out. But you've already gotten to a point where a lot of people haven't, right? So typically, let's say for entertainment, usually at the audition process, they'll ask you just a simple, quick couple questions, right? And then whenever I'm done with rehearsals, we do an overall evaluations 
and we have like a secondary interview where they kind of fill you out and make sure you're actually ready to work on a ship because that's a very big thing. If a cruise line is gonna hire you, they wanna make sure you're just mentally capable and you know, just, just emotionally capable to work on a ship because it is a very, very rough life, all right? So guys, I'm not gonna to touch on this too much, but I know this is a very important subject for you guys, but I'm just making it very simple. Just be very happy, upbeat, positive, you know, and of course, like any other job, you know, even if you have to exaggerate a little bit, make it seem like it's something that you really want to do, which I know a, most, a lot of you guys for the most part are, but make it something, make it sound like something that you're very, very passionate about, something that you wanted to do for your entire life. And that's how you get on the ship. Just keep that in mind, guys, all right? All right, guys, if you made it this far, we have finally made it to the conclusion, the wrap up, just the ending overview for the entire video. Guys, so in conclusion, like I said, the cruise line is a very, very great place and a great opportunity for anybody that gets the chance to work. But just keep in mind, of course, it is not for everyone. Guys, I did a video of, of things that you should keep in mind if you want to work on a cruise ship, like pretty much all the stuff that would possibly bother somebody. Like, for example, being around people all the time, how to communicate, being away from family, all those things you gotta consider. I'll leave a link to that video below. But also, guys, just also understand that there are a ton of cruise lines, there are just so many different moving parts to working on a ship, so many factors that you guys have to keep in mind. But if you really, really, truly wanna work on a cruise ship, don't give up. That's my number one thing, guys. Don't ever, ever, ever give up. Yeah, keep working your nine to five or whatever it is, your business or whatever it is you're doing before you go on the ship. But if that's something that you really want to do, don't give up. I promise you that it will happen for you. Well, I have one belief, and that's if you really want something and you're trying your hardest to do the right thing to make sure that happens, life is going to put you where you need to be. So just understand that, guys, and always keep it in your mind. I'm not going to touch on anything else too much, guys. I really, really hope that this video helped you guys. And of course, like I said, guys, I don't want money or anything crazy like that. All I ask that you guys please, of course, like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure you hit that notification bell so you get notified when I post new videos. And above all, please, like I said, share this video. I want people to be able to see this so they have a little bit more ease when it comes to applying for cruise ships and uh, maybe give them a one-stop shop to all the websites and sources that they may need. So with that said, guys, please comment below. If you guys look at my description and you see any websites or links that I'm missing to websites or emails that I'm missing to help people hopefully get on the ship, please comment it below so that I can add it into my description section. It would really, really be nice of you guys and I'd greatly appreciate it. But I'm gonna wrap this video up. I hope you guys you know, found this video informative and I'm giving you guys good content. And uh, yeah, in conclusion guys, I'm gonna go. I'll see you guys this Sunday for my Ship Life Story episode. Until then, I'll see you guys soon. You take it easy.